I think it's fun. I enjoy reading it. I mean, it's it's none of it's real. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun to read. I just think it's a magazine about, like, things women do, what they like, what they talk about. I usually would just, like, take them to the gym or something, just as, like, some, like, light reading, so I wouldn't really get too into it, but, um, I mean, they were pretty cool. It was just for, I enjoyed it when I was, like, in high school, like, reading them, and, yeah. Which had the, like, you know, like, people think if I have a funny beard, you're just like, oh, let's see, um, how to look cute on my horoscope is today. <laughs> yeah, that's probably awesome. entertaining <laughs> at the, you know, bare minimum. Yeah, all I know is it gives girls a lot of facts about, well, maybe not facts, really ideas, things, ideas, yeah. I think that in general it's a better magazine than a lot of other ones out there, but I do think that the things that are in it kind of contradict what the media says that the magazine portrays, like the ads and stuff. Well, be like, this skinny woman and you'll fall in love and have this man. I think that I definitely would. Um, I'm subscribed to it my, myself and I have it for a while. So I think that out of all the magazines that are possible to buy for your team, I think that it's one of the best. Uh, probably. It just keeps them in the loop. Depends on the age, I think. Like, if she was, like, I think I started reading it when I was, like, 15. Yeah, like 15. Mm -hmm. But younger than that, I feel like it's probably a little too much information. <laughs> probably not. Let her buy it or, you know, ask why she wanted it, at least. Which is 17? No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. If I was a parent, I, I wouldn't promote it. Like, I would, I, I wouldn't be opposed if my kid or if my daughter were to read it, but if I was a parent, I wouldn't promote reading stuff like that because, yeah, I think it is a little subjective as to, like, what, you know, teen girls ha have a hard enough time with, like, self-esteem issues and, yeah. Um, I think so. I don't think that I would necessarily be like, hey, hon, have this magazine, but, like, if they asked for it or if they saw it at a store and they liked it, I would probably get it. Together, but the advertisements in the magazine do contradict the thought, the views that Seventeen puts out. It's probably like forcing girls towards like sexual activity, stuff like that, or making them feel uglier so they have to buy junk to look pretty, stuff like that. It's very superficial. Like a lot of the stuff is um, like uh, how they say to get guys and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Not really how you want to get guys. It's more of just a, a trickery. But um, I, I think if you take it for face value, it's really like it's it, it's interesting to read. But just don't follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd recommend it over Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Well, it probably trades them in a light that it's it's probably above average. Most magazines like that in general are um, very much like this is what like a pretty girl your age like looks like. This is what she wears. This is like the new hot things coming up. I just think it constantly makes girls, you know, feel like they always have to like update who they are and what they're looking like and that they're not like, you know, the perfect teenage girl. So I think in general it's not awful seventeen by itself, but I think that magazines like seventeen magazine and media in general portray women not in a good light anymore because they hold them up to some kind of huge standard where they're supposed to be these perfect beings and no one's like that. Judging from the different, how young girls grow up now with being exposed to tighter clothes, shorter clothes, makeup, more so than I was when I was a kid, I would say yes. I mean, definitely. I mean, like, it used to be way back when that like, big women were pretty, and now it's like you have to be skinnier than who knows what. You have to be bulimic to be beautiful now, so. Yeah, I think so. I think that we're, we're kind of a uh, foot in both worlds. Like, it was like, you know, men take care of women, but now we're doing kind of both jobs. Like, we're taking care and also doing everything else that our traditional women roles. So, yeah. Pressure to succeed, maybe. Pressure to be perfect. Not so much. Well, I think to be perfect, maybe, maybe to be perfect, but back then, girls didn't care I think what they looked like. Perfect was a lower standard mm -hmm. before. Yeah, I think that there's a lot more things in the media now, like not just magazines, but you know, television, um, in like music videos, you know, with people just like 
seeing, you know, this is what pretty is, this is the mold of pretty, and it's come to get, like, worse and worse and, like, thinner, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I uh, I definitely think there's a lot more pressure on girls nowadays. You see, like, a, like, if you look at, like, eating disorder rates and things like that, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, girls and boys, too, so, um, I mean, I don't think 17 is helping. Definitely, I think so. I think that I wouldn't actually know because I'm not old enough, but I feel like back in the day or whatever, um, women weren't supposed to.